The next question submitted was, are probiotics effective in maintaining or promoting a healthy gut microbiome? I guess, I, again, something that you touched upon, but if you can elaborate, and I see there's some sub-questions linked to that as well. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, probiotics are, are a bit of a controversial, uh, I guess, a treatment right now. Uh, there's, I think they will hold a lot of promise in the future, but right now there's really, we need more research about them. Uh, and here again, I would like to go back to this uh, uh, idea of this natural ecosystem. Like if you think about, uh, there's a forest that uh, uh, is having problems, is undergoing desertification. And the question of, if I add uh, a pine tree, will will this help? Uh, if you think about it at the macro scale, it becomes really obvious that it's going to be hard to have a single species that will have help restore an ecosystem. Uh, and one of the one of the challenges too is that uh, a lot of the probiotics that, that we look at are often in doses that are really really massive. Uh, so yeah. there'll be billions of the same microbiota uh, member that you're going to be taking down. Um, so I, I there, that I know of, there's not really evidence that probiotics are are negative for health, but they've been really spotty in the ways that can be beneficial for health. Um, and then one of the ways that, in which uh, uh, that I would also like to comment on is that for probiotics, there, there's some there's some new research. For example, in recovery from uh, uh, antibiotics, they actually seem to, to hinder the normal return to uh, the previous microbiota. Uh, hmm. While, for example, oh sorry, Katie, were you going to say something? No, no, no. I just said, huh? I didn't know that. Um, and and so I. I, um, that research got publicized a lot saying the probiotics were bad, and I, and I think that that's too much. I, I think that there is a place for probiotics, uh, but I think it's going to be unlikely to be one species is going to fix everything for everyone. Uh, what I think that we need to restore, much like a, a natural ecosystem, is all of the species to kind of come back together. We need the diversity, uh, and, and I really like to think about this as, as a forest, that, that we need to make sure that it's not just going to be a monocrop we need to have a lot of different species that come together. Um, in terms of particular brands, uh, of what I can speak to, I, I'm not a medical doctor, so I, I can't give uh, medical advice, uh, but the, some of the research supports uh, uh, BSL-3 probiotics as, as having uh, uh, positive effects, as well uh, as also the coli nissel um, that, that have had uh, uh, multiple studies that have had uh, some, some positive effects. Uh, but also here, it's not uh, uh, with with it's with all of these treatments. It's going to be really dependent uh, on the specific person because uh, we know that different people react differently to different types of fibers, and different people will react differently also to different types of probiotics. So uh, not necessarily sufficient scientific evidence, and a lot of variation, and depends on the individual. But um, the last question talks about, um, is it possible to consume too much of the probiotics and, and trigger symptoms of IBD? I, I think that probably for everything, there's something that becomes too much. Uh, I haven't seen any specific evidence saying that uh, um, probiotics trigger IBD. 